Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And as you can tell, we're in the car. Yes, we're going to look at motorcycles. Okay, so this all came about, uh, I was on Craigslist. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you, what you, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> yes, Craigslist. I guess people still post motorcycles on there. And I saw one that I was interested in, sent the guy an email, and then he responded with that it was available and then followed it up with an email that he had another motorcycle available. So I called him up. We talked on the phone, and while we were on the phone, there ended up being about 10 motorcycles available. So that's why we're in the car, and I'm taking you guys along with me. So you guys ever get on the phone with somebody and you become fast friends like right away? That's how it was with um, Vince, this guy Vince who owns it, the old guy who owns all this stuff. That uh, it just great, interesting guy. Uh, he was telling me a story about how he took a, a transmission from a Suzuki, can't remember exactly which bike, so he could use the transmission on a golf cart. A golf cart. Took the bottom end, the GS500, and then uh, took the rods off, made this plate to blank it off. Yeah. I need to meet this guy. So that's why I was eager to jump in the car to drive three and a half hours to go look at what it is and uh, see if we can put together a deal for the whole thing. Not to take them home today, but just to do some, some research. So that's what we're doing. The 600. That'll make it a little easier. So this is the... Farago, 500. 500 Farago, the BMW, K1200 RS, the 04, is that what you thought, 04, and then when I set it up, it was running, okay, and then GSX 750, yeah, F, F, 750F, Awesome. So much stuff. <laughs> you find another one? Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that goes to something. That goes to uh, something. It's, it's a rear subframe for no. something over there. I don't know what that one. Oh, maybe it does it go to this? Yeah, me. It might. Well, anyway, it goes with you if you. <laughs> That's the 600 that has a title. The 600, the uh, uh, GSX title. 600. Yeah, F. GSX 600 F. F. Okay, and these are, that's more fairings. Oh, yeah, right. Let's see, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the 550 engine. Sorry? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the CB 550 CB550 engine. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the fairing for that GSX 7. The front? Yeah. It was missing the front. That little guy. Oh, that's a, I think that's a, that's a TTL uh, 125 okay. Yamaha. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, hey, guess what? <laughs> when I sold it, that bike, during the time I had it, uh -huh. I worked on it yeah. um, to, and really got it handling well. Yeah. I could pass them inside, outside, everywhere. And what I had done is I would sent the forks off to Attraction Dynamics, who always did my suspension in Atlanta. And they they did they redid the forts for me, and they redid the rear shock. Well, when I sold the bike um, back to the guy I bought it from, I went ahead and put the, the shock, the forks, and the rear shock in the, when I bought it from him, right. and I kept the race prepared oh, wow. shock and yeah. and the forks. So I I have and um, I just have and I've got so I've got the, the frame, the forks, I've got the um, the longest swing arm that they use for road racing. Frame, forks, rear shock, swing arm. So I've got like a, a road racing setup there. Wow. If anybody wants it. And this is the Suzuki. 
Yeah, that's what I bought up in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, they, just, they, that's the rubber. Yeah, the rubber is just it's done it yeah. on all four of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of odd. Yeah, it has anti-dive front forks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this, this really was a great bike when it came out. It was the first year of the monoshock suspension okay. in 1985. And uh, when I bought it up there in Columbus, man, I rode it all around for, I don't know, maybe a few weeks. And it, and it was great. I yeah. loved it. I went to work and back on it and everything. And then when, I, when the job was finished, the assignment came back here. And like it wasn't but a day or two. And it developed a misfire. Oh, wow. But, um, I mean, it wasn't smoking, yeah. it wasn't rattling, it wasn't anything, so, you know, I mean, I, I, never, I never even did right. anything, check the plugs or anything, mm. so, it's, I, I think it's ignition. That's it's got to be something, something kind of simple. No, it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's a cool looking bike. No, it, 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 it's really nice when it's yeah, cleaned yeah. up. No, it's beautiful, nothing's broke, it's Nothing not scratched, gauges. it's not dinted. Nothing gauges. Yeah, so, I think you've got 12,000 on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But it's all complete. Yeah, it really it ran flawlessly until I got yeah. it back here. And for some reason, <laughs> just need to need to tune up. And you see here, when, when I my race bikes, uh -huh. I always modify them to take GSXR, um, rear set. GSXR 750 and and 1000 rear sets. Oh, okay. Because then if I fell off at the track. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they just extras. a two bolt fixture right, right, right. and modified the frame to take the yeah. two bolt. And so I've got all these left now because I don't have a bike anymore. Uh, that seat, I think that's off a, uh, this is off a uh, GSXR 750. Okay, I think that's and that seat, seat as well. Yeah. That seat is another seat off, uh, I think that's off a of Royal Enfield. Yep. Uh, I had another bullet. I had another it looks like it's bullet. got the handle in the back. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I sold the other 500 bullet that I had, yeah. um, but um, the, uh, the guy that had it before me, he changed the seat out to a, a single, a single seat. Right. Yeah. Instead of having the oh, just yeah. the, the small little so that's, cushion. That's a stock seat off a off a Royal Enfield bullet. Yeah. And you can have it. Um, that this is a crank off a Royal Enfield bullet. <laughs> and what I was thinking is that I. You know, this, this stuff is good saleable. Yeah, right, right, right. Because, you know, people fall off and break those. That's right. Uh, I, I just give you all this stuff, yeah, yeah. okay? Just just to make it a, the best of deal as I can. I appreciate that. Uh, so uh, I'll give you this, the GSX-R750 seat. He, he put a racing seat on, yeah. my friend. And you can have that seat. in good shape. Um, and uh, just any, anything we find. Oh, that's awesome. You can have. <laughs> you're just you're getting rid of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and like, for example, oh, that's oh, yeah. the GSX GSXR 750 yeah. bearing. Um, and then, you know, there's all that stuff, those yeah. flashes Turn and signals, everything. Yeah. Uh, that is a GT500 uh, crankcase set. Okay. Okay. For yeah, a, you had told me about that. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Oh, oh, here's the rest of the uh, CB550. Oh, the rest of the CB550? Yeah, it's got everything. It's got all the, the, the clocks and everything mm -hmm. on it. Uh, but I don't, ha I don't have don't, wheels for it. No wheels no. or a tank. No. no. And that's the engine down yeah. there. Yeah, we've got the it. engine there. This is seat. Oh, no. On the side, actually, I forgot I had the CB550. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, let's look for the... Let's just see. It doesn't have an owner's manual, but the good thing about these CB550s is they have an odd placement for the toolkit. Yeah. And so uh, sometimes they're still in there. Hey, how about that? See, it's just right up under here. Okay. Uh, I have to it Yeah, I'm uh, just curious. We'll That's the best part about the whole thing. Where is it here? Uh, I have it right here somewhere. Where did I put it? Come on, let's see. Oh, it's not in there. That was worth a shot. Um, I, I put two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. on the Virago. Yeah. And on the CB five fifty, I put uh, I put four fifty on yeah, this. Yeah. Do you think that's a reasonable? I thought it was. Yeah, you know, you I, always, me, I, I always uh, I always say the the price is is uh, is better the less tri trips you have to make with it to the truck. 
Meaning, oh. if, it, if it rolls, yeah. Yeah. then and it's got its handlebars, it's always a, it's always a, a more expensive bike yeah. than uh, the more trips I have to take. Um, the guy who I got this from, this was oh, no, uh, yeah. from uh, a friend in North Atlanta. Oh, okay. 75. And what okay, he yeah. had done, he had had the motor rebuilt. He had all new bearing, all right. bearings and Everything seals. done over there? Bearings and seals put in the motor. Yeah. And then he just got where he just didn't bother fooling with it anymore. And I got the comment. Right. And I was going to finish it, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have the carbs for it? Uh, no. Okay, so it's missing oh, the carbs. Oh, 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 there may be in the box. Oh, 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 oh. There may be a set of carbs. I thought I saw some carbs around Did you? here somewhere. Okay, well, maybe I Hold on. Maybe I, maybe I saw uh, some carbs huh. somewhere. Maybe not. Um, that's that's worth the look. I don't remember. We better say no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm yeah. not sure if I do or not. Yeah. So here is... Uh, So, you know, all the stuff like the yeah. flashes and everything, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. charge you anything for it. Right, right, and there's right. a new chain still yeah. in the box there. So, and you can have time. it. Um, and let's see, over here is... Uh, there's another... <gasps> Oh, that's off that. Um, that's the tail that's, section. No, uh, that's no, a chin. That's, that's the can for the yeah. BF750. Okay, it's yeah. Sitting out around the back. Yeah. Um, that is off a uh, GSX R750. Mm -hmm. okay. So there, there's the uh, GT750. That's, that's GT500. Okay. A pair of heads and GT750 cylinder and head. Perfect. And you can awesome. have those. Awesome. And. Over here in the corner is the... Uh, that's the roll for the bullet. Field. Yeah, I saw yeah. it. What year is it? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we, we can figure it out. I, I rode this bike here for a while. And then uh, I just covered it up. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's wrong with this is the return spring. On yeah, the on the Kickstarter you mentioned. The rest yeah. of it is fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this is all this that's stuff. That's from that, yeah. Um, but it, it, it's no scratches, no dints, no right nothing there. on it. It's gold and gold and black. Yeah, yeah. And I parked it up. It was running fine. Oh, look, same thing. Same happened. thing. Something in the air, look huh? Look at that. They, yeah. they got the rubber, huh? Yeah. But the, I, I love yeah, this bike. Yeah, it did all it's of great. it. It's something. Yeah. Something in the... Well, the, I mean, you've got to take the car off and clean yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You do all the normal stuff. Yeah, but no. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, down nothing outrageous. And I've got the tile for it. Oh, good. And then do you have titles for, oh, watch this down. The BMW. The, the BMW. The Virago comes with the title. The Suzuki. Uh, the GSX 750 comes with the title. The Suzuki, the GS 1150 comes with the, the title. title. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Yep. It's not, it, the title is not a challenge for, uh, like getting a title for an older bike in Louisiana is not that big of a challenge once oh, you yeah. know how to do it. Okay. You, you know, go. once you know how to do it, as long as the bike is old enough, and uh, if you can go through that, it's it's not that difficult to go through the whole thing. Um, see what else? But whatever's motorcycle injectors. <laughs> That's simple. Yeah, I like that. And I'll tell you what, if if you were just yeah. And over there is uh, the, the uh, what do you call them, the uh, top yoke yeah. for the core. Triple tree, yeah. And oh, here's some carbs in here. Oh, yeah. There's right. some oh. singles. Yeah. These are. Um, they're probably off the... You have a... Yeah, it looks like you have a couple of them, yeah. Like yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think maybe the carbs are going to be... Under, uh, there. under there. Yes. Yeah, well, they'll, they, 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 they'll but, turn up. But they're here. And once, once stuff starts moving. Yeah. You see that? Uh, where, where is it? Uh, under here. Oh, oh, see. oh there it is. This. Oh, geez, what is that? That's a rock crusher. <laughs> oh, gosh. It'll, it'll crush it. See here? Yeah, yeah, right in there. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll crush a rock 8 by 10, 8 uh -uh. inches by 10 just inches. Crumbles. And uh, I had this imported. 
Uh -uh. Uh, yeah, it's brand new, never been used. Wow. And uh, I bought it with a spare set of, uh, see the plates here? Oh, spare, yeah, with those. Spare set of plates. So does it just roll? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then it goes in and out like that. Oh, jeez. Definitely don't want to get your yeah, hand in it, there. See it move? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get your hand in there, for sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, here, oh, there's, uh, what's that piece right there? Oh, there's another. Uh, uh, another. Uh, no, I don't know what that's off. Well, definitely off of something. Oh, and there, <laughs> that wheel there. Ooh. Is there more under there? Yeah, right there. You see oh, yeah, I see. That it. aluminum wheel there? Yep. Uh, that, right and then here's another spoke over here. Oh yeah, there's another wheel there. Oh, you know what that wheel might be? Oh, buddy. So you've been looking for it. That's the one you've been looking for. That, that wheel, and then over here, uh, there's another wheel. Hold on, before you get too far away, you're going to have to explain these chairs. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to explain these. Yeah, they're, they're uh, you got to find yeah. out what what kind of <laughs> what kind of operations you're performing in here. No, they're, they're dentist, dentist <laughs> yeah. chairs. Uh, and this is the drill. Uh, this I is it. So, yeah. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is awesome. I've got to take pictures. Ooh, just uh, make the cards up. I've laid them up there. Let's see. Those heads, they're a pair of heads off a, uh, a, uh, a, a Datsun 260Z Turbo. Oh, wow. See the double overhead yeah, yeah. head? No, not that one. Oh, those, those two. two. Yeah. Off the, v, the V6. Wow. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and those heads over there, uh -huh. and this one right here to the left this of the one? green helmet. Yeah. Uh, they're off, uh, do you remember Datsun 510s? Yeah. The four-cylinder, uh -huh. and they made them in a 1600 and a two-liter. Right. That's what those heads are off. Wow. Most of them are off the two-liter, and uh, one of them is uh, off the 1600. Oh, that's awesome. Because we used to race the uh, Datsun 510. That's your, oh, that's your RD. RD 350. Yeah. Uh, 350, uh, yeah. That's yours. <laughs> Anything motorcycle. <laughs> Anything motorcycle. I hear throwing. you. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, it's, it's, that's it may, they may be under here. So right, I, right, I right. I just recently put all yeah, this no, stuff it, right it'll all, in it'll all turn up. <laughs> it'll all turn up. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet they're in there. There's a Royal Enfield Bullet uh, oh, yeah. spare yeah. gearbox. Gearbox. You yeah. have that. And I, I, I can you... Can you get rid of these, all these uh, manuals for older uh, vehicles? Yeah. All these Chilton and manuals, Haynes manuals, oh, RX-7s and Broncos and just old, old stuff. Is there a, is there a Ford F-150? Probably. <laughs> American car, oh, mine's a 78. I'm, that's my, my truck is a 1978 Ford F-150. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I needed a truck to haul around old motorcycles. Oh, there you go, look. There you go. You need that, <laughs> and you got this guy right here. We used to race a, uh, um, a Mazda Rotary. No, mine's a 78. Oh, that's all they can. Mm-hmm. And here's more of them here. Yeah. The Chevrolet racing engine. And how to build a small block race engine. Mm -hmm. Chevrolet. Volkswagen. Fix your Volkswagen. I love that. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a great book. I had a, a, a Beetle when I was in college. Oh, yeah. And the book to have then was the Volkswagen Repair Manual for the Complete Idiot. I don't know if you ever saw that one. No. It was cartoons in it. It was just perfect, but the best huh. how to how to work on something manual. Yeah. My mother divorced my American father, and she took... Oh, there you go. There's another, another one. one. And uh, she took me... And my younger sister back to England because she was English. Oh, yeah. And uh, I grew up in England. Oh, wow. And went to school and college in England. And then found your way home. 
26, just to see where I'd come from. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, fell in love with this girl, married her, and, and uh, mm -hmm. had, you know, four, uh, th four daughters. And... Yeah, oh. Now, there's one set of cards, a cards. with it, but the mm -hmm. other set's set somewhere, somewhere around. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll find them. GSX, this is uh, GS500? Yeah, GS500, yeah. And the seat is... It's there. a brown, right there. Okay, oh, good. the tank was over there, yeah. did you see the, it? the blue one. Yeah, and, and yeah. but it's got a rust hole in it. I okay, told yeah. Uh, and let's see, uh, what else was I going to tell you about? Oh, uh, yeah, over there, I've got some bits and pieces for... Uh, uh, a GS, uh, GS, a GSXR 1000. I've got a okay. couple of water pumps yeah. and stuff like that. I raced a GSXR 1000 oh, wow. for a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. I wish I could spot those cars. Oh, oh, they're, around. They're, they're around somewhere. Yeah, Oh, that's the full taco. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Alpina. Yeah, it's a fiberglass mm -hmm. tank seat unit. Yeah. Just, I, I, mean, I can't even remember who I got that from, but <laughs> I, I, I just brought it in the shop yeah, and just sat it there. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been in the Maybe the carbs are under here. Oh, there, that's that thing I told you I built. Oh, yeah, that's the, the transmission from the yeah. engine. I took, I took the bottom end, the GS500, and then uh, took the rods off, made this plate to blank it off. Yeah. And then over here on this side, there's me fine drive sprocket. Right. And then right here, I machined this thing and made it where you can mount the sprocket here. Yeah. And that's on the crank. Oh wow! So, you know. So you just took this out of the equation. Well, this, this, oh no, the, this, it would still meet to right there. This goes. This is the drive, okay. just like it is on the motorcycle, right. and this is where you put the engine. Oh, okay, yeah, to yeah. the drive yeah. spot to the right. uh, crankshaft, yeah. and then the crankshaft, you know, goes through to the yeah, transmission. to the transmission. There you go. Um, That's awesome. Anybody, you know, I uh, <laughs> when I was 50, I went back to college and I got my uh, another degree in um, industrial electronics. Okay. And I went and bought um, this oscilloscope here, and this is a um, you know a, um, a, a, a power generator mm -hmm. for different voltages, different frequencies, different all right. If you know any boats into electronics, wow. I got these two. I'm here, look. Oh wow, look at that. Over here. So here, you can this that's a power supply wow. that you can adjust to whatever power you want to whatever you're working with. So I got one, two, three different if anybody's, you know, yeah. repairs electronics or yeah. they're going through college or university yeah. on an electronics degree. There you have that. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a walk out the back then. Have a look at the stuff over there. Oh, I've got two uh, <laughs> blowers, superchargers. Oh, yeah. You know anybody that wants oh, it's a, super a couple charger. of superchargers? Yeah. I got two there. Two of them. That's I awesome. a hundred bucks a piece. hundred bucks a piece. I love that. And there's nothing wrong with them. No. Just need an engine. Just that, that engine. Yeah. <laughs> Just 
The engine's sick on the past side. Okay. Oh, that's what I was telling you here, look. Um, here's the, the, these are the race prep. They're the race prep. Oh, forks. forks, yeah. That go in that on TTL that 125. Yeah. There's the long swing arm mm -hmm. that they use for road racing. And there's the front wheel with the disc on. Yeah. And here, and this is the ah, race prep shop yeah. that yeah. Traction Dynamics did for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. With the, with the, and boy, they really know what they're doing. <laughs> because, boy, I, I, I could pass, that's my wife. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, I could pass them on the inside or around the outside. 45 minutes from where my wife's house was. Uh -huh. um, so I went up there and met him during the week with the bike, gave him the bike, he gave me the money. And I noticed down there on the track, the guy who owned the track, who I got friendly with, um, I saw him. So I thought, oh, let me go see Mike. So I went down there and I said, hey, Mike, how you doing? He said, God, Vince, <laughs> am I glad to see you? I said, really? He said, yeah, he said, I was there at the corner when, oh, when you had that Oh, thought you were a goner, yeah. And he said, I thought... Oh, it was done, though. Oh, yeah, that's so no it, good. It really was a bad one. And like I say, I went up in the air and came straight oh. down. Split my helmet open. Oh, gosh. Good thing you had a helmet on. Oh, I've been great. <laughs> well, one thing, pretty cool to yeah. Now, what's that over there next to the gas tank? Oh, that's the sailboat. <laughs> no, the... The bike in front of it. No, GS GS five hundred. GS five hundred. Okay, that's spare, the spare, spare frame. Frame. Yeah. Spare front wheel, spare back wheel, and swing arm. Yep. Uh, and uh, and that was the exhaust system that was off this when I bought right, it. Right. Right. Because you know that was the one that had the spare end. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> that takes. Yeah, so I saw that when I got out of the car. It goes with it. Awesome. So I have to tell you, uh, I love the, uh, do you know what that is, Gage? That when you find stuff in there, you go, hey, you know what this is? <laughs> because I had a really great friend of mine who has since passed away. Uh, that was the game he loved to play with me. Hey, hey yeah. do you know what this is? <laughs> and I'm like, we'd walk around his place much like this, and he'd go, you know what that is? And I'm like, yeah, you know what it is. Just tell me. <laughs> oh, God, and you know what? This was so nice and dry right here. Yeah. It rained all oh, yeah. day yesterday. It rained and rained and rained. Yeah, we had lots. <sighs> Damn it. Because I walked out here right. and looked at these. So, uh. Find the end. Oh, here's the end. Ooh, watch that. Yeah, that'll take your eye <laughs> out. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. okay, that's the VF750 yep. Honda, right mm -hmm. there, that one, Yep. rolling chassis, that's, that's okay. the TX750, there, yep. that's the YR5, Right. and this is the uh, GT500 rolling chassis, well, right. but I don't know where the back wheel went. It's underneath it. Oh yeah, there it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Underneath it, no, and that one's missing one too, I don't know how far I can go um, without... I, I just give you these, okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. not charging you for them. Oh, there's the tank. There's the for tank the for this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see if it's there on the bottom. Yeah. You see, when I first started racing in the vintage series, I raced a YR5. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I bought this one for spare parts. But then I, I swapped to an RD three fifty. Right, right, right. Uh, well, this is a well, this a but this isn't the three fifty. This is a three fifty, but it's a but, but not an RD three fifty. Right, and it, and it's port. Uh, yeah. you know, it's just a port injection. It's not reed valve. Right. And also the YR five is a five speed gearbox, and the RD is a six. Six. So they're better yeah. for racing. Man, I had. Uh, an RD250. Yeah. Uh, R5s, I guess is what they call them, right? Yeah, R5. Uh, yeah, and uh, no, this is DSR. And maybe it's a DSR. No, no. The, the, the what was the DS7? Was y, YDS7. Okay, YDS7. Yeah. DS7, that's what I was. Yeah. And um, 
it was uh, shocking when it would get into the power band. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. you don't expect it, and no. then it, the front wheel's off the ground, and you're like, no. what the hell happened? I always equated it to uh, dating a really, really hot chick that was batshit crazy. Yeah? That you never knew when she was gonna lose her mind. <laughs> it was kind of like riding one of these. Yeah, yeah, the uh, power band comes yeah. in all at once, yeah. yeah. No torque. It is, no, torque no, it just, it, it, you're just right, you're just cruising along and it gets yeah. to about 5,000 RPMs and it says, hey, how you doing? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. But anyway, I'll just give you these. Yep. Okay. We're back in the car, headed back home. Plan wasn't to take anything home today. Plan was to look and see what was there and uh, make an assessment. He gave me the numbers that he's into, and then I'll tell him what, what I think I can do. We're looking at putting a deal together for the whole lot. And and if that doesn't work, then we'll just end up with the one or two things that maybe I'm really into. Uh, one of them being the 85 Suzuki GS1150E. I am, I'm, I'm into that. Uh, it'd make a great partner to go with the GPZ 1100 or GPZ 1100 for uh, finally say it right for once so that one's something I'm into there's a couple other little projects there that would be fun the, the BMW although it's a little too new for me uh, for what I'm into 2004 K 1200 uh, RS I believe is what it is is a good price for a running, riding motorcycle uh, that we can move on to somebody else. Uh, that could be something I'm into. Uh, there's a, the little Royal Enfield I was into, or could be into, you know, if, if, if we get the price price right. So uh, that, and then the other project stuff, really cool, really super cool. The, the GS600, GS750F, uh, those, um, the CB550, kind of build-a-bike. Uh, he said the engine was rebuilt, and the guy was super nice, super nice. I love, I, I can still be there talk, talk, talking stories with him because he's got lots of interesting stories. From road racing motorcycles to, you know, crew chiefing for race cars so interesting interesting guy so we'll we'll see where we end up you know i've got to put some numbers together am i also talking to a couple other people that may be into into some of the other ones that that i'm not that maybe we can help me move i'm really trying to see what can we do to help this guy move it all out at once it'd be nice if we all showed up at one day one day and took all the motorcycle stuff out um away from for him because i think it would help him out so and we'll see what we can do but there is one there will definitely be one to come away we'll definitely come away with one maybe a couple of more we'll see how it goes but let's see what happens so just want to leave you with uh, with this guys you know we get it all the time how do you find these motorcycles i can't ever find them that way in my area well i am three hours away from my house I just broaden your your reach and let's see what we can come up with if you're looking for them just if you're looking in the same spot and complain you can't find anything look in another spot it's kind of like fishing in the same hole and wonder why the fish aren't biting there we, we do need to move at some point so that's kind of what this was and I didn't know when I messaged the guy that he had uh, geez that guardrail scared me that he had uh, 11 motorcycles you know i was just commenting on one and soon soon after talking to him he starts telling me everything else he has so you never know what's going to be there so it's just being open and, and available to it guys i want to thank you for watching yet another episode of motorcycle rewind and do me a favor like tag share and follow us on instagram at motorcycle rewind and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're in the subscribing mood just wander on over to our friends brick house builds gold guy moto mango ace cafe bikes mile zero racers plan b motos pete's classic cycle and lady moto bang and give those guys a subscribe too thanks again guys and have a great day